I want to be in bed at 9 o'clock. I want to be rested. I want to spend time in my room. I want to go to sleep, okay? Give me all the stuff that was punishments when you were a kid, right? Keep watching to find out what that has to do with today's book. Hey, I'm Kyla Denayo, and we are talking all about the book, Rest is Resistance, all right? Now it's called a manifesto and that's for real because this is an evidence-based book. You hear me, it's full of all kinds of facts and quotations and all the good stuff. But this book is written by Trisha Hersey. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is growth, self-improvement, okay? So I know y'all are busy. I know you're busy. Let's get straight into the most important examples of rest that I could find. One example, an extra long shower, sipping warm tea before you go to bed, a 20 minute nap. So literally rest, meditating, resting your eyes, strolling through the park, praying, deep listening to a full album, okay? Not just music playing in the background, but like Beyonce, what are you saying in Renaissance? Yes. <laughs> Rest is all of these things, okay? And the entire point of the book is that we have to take care of ourselves. We will not be here to fight the fight, to do the work, to be entrepreneurs, to record the videos if we don't rest. So that is off jump. So let's get into the first way that I am resting, all right? You see that, you see that? Y'all, I've been trying for months to stop wearing my digital watch, okay? I have a ton of analog watches. I read physical books. I'm an analog kind of girl, but oh, I like to get these little alerts and the notifications when I'm doing stuff. Ma'am, if you run a flight of stairs, it's good for your heart not your watch. If you jump rope, it's good for your heart, not your watch. My first way to get rest is to cut <laughs> no more digital watch. So did you know that rest is not a reward for you working hard? To me, I'm working, whether it's editing, whether it's writing, whether it's reading, whether it's typing, whatever it is, let's take a five minute break as a reward for being productive. I never called it a reward, but it was a reward. Cause I'm a big fan of the Pomodoro method, which is work for 25 minutes, take a five minute break. Or in my case, I work for 65 minutes and take a 10 minute break because 25 minutes is too short. So for me, this book told me that I had to reorder things. It had to say, I am taking 10 minutes to myself because I'm taking 10 minutes to myself. But that also means if there's a day that I just am not feeling the work, I can also just take that day off or I can decide one day to not do the Pomodoro, right? Like I tend to commit and dive in. <laughs> and so now I'm like, if it's not Pomodoro, it's not working. Kyla, you can also just go and work and take a break if you need to. Now, if you're not good with taking breaks, which I'm not, that's why the Pomodoro method works for you. So that leads right into the next point, which is rest is intuitive, okay? So I'm gonna talk all about rest being intuitive, but speaking of intuition, go on and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content, okay? I talk about books every single week and I would love to see you again. I struggle with this one, okay? Trisha was getting me together and I don't know if it's the lawyer background, I don't know if it's the entrepreneurial hustle, but I needed some nap ministry and Trisha got me together, okay? An intuitive rest means you need to listen to your body and you are allowed to rest. Okay, and we're not talking about you becoming a slacker. It doesn't have to be that extreme. Okay, if your body is telling you you have been burning the candle at both ends and it is time for a break, you can take a break. My life, I've been waking up at five in the morning to get work done. Now, my daughter wakes up at 7.30 in the morning, packing lunch, having breakfast with the husband and the kid, talking, all of this stuff, right? I know the time is beneficial, I can't get up. So you know what that meant? I started going to bed at 9.45. Okay, so our lives are busy. Busy being professional troublemakers, busy running businesses, being all the things. So go on and check out this video here. It's all about how to be a professional troublemaker. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.